Hello and welcome to my tutorial on using image alpha channels in the Blender edit window. Uh, today I thought I'd start off with the end result, show you what we're going to be doing. Uh, this is, I'm making this tutorial mostly because I forget how to do this sometimes and I'm pretty sure most people new to Blender uh, start off not knowing how to do this. So I thought, you know, might be useful. Uh, before we get started, however, I'd like to show you this image I got off the internet. This is an early image from the game Fable 2 by Lionhead Studios. If you look at the grass below the pole of the fence, you'll notice that there's a flat surface with a grass texture on it, and then you'll see grass sticking up off that surface. If you look closer, you can tell that there are about one or two polygons with grass textures on them that are being used to create the tall grass that is sticking up. This is a common technique used in many different games, and I'm going to teach you exactly how to do it. Because if you do it like this, you can create a realistic grass field with only a couple hundred polygons. So now we're back in Blender, and I've started with a, uh, these two planes that I'm going to texture, make it look like a grass particle you see in games. And to do that, first, importantly, make sure the shading is on GLSL, because for some reason that's the only shading mode that Blender can display textures in. Make sure draw type is textured. Alright, we got everything all lit. Everything's ready. Let's see, make sure we have a material. And now to import our texture. Go to open. Remember these? Yeah. So anyway, here's the grass texture that I intend to use. Open it. And let's see. Can't see anything yet, but that's because of the lighting. I'll fix that later. Uh, the first thing we want to do is open up the image sampling tab and make sure alpha use, make sure you do that. That's very important because if you forget that, it's going to invert the uh, alpha channel and it's going to look all messed up. Believe me, I just found that out. So now we go to influence, click alpha. Now we're going to go back to the material tab and See, so check transparency and open it up. Make sure it's on Z transparency. And we're going to turn alpha all the way down. And see, we're already getting something. Even though it's not lit up, you can, you can see the shapes in there. And uh, now that we've got that, I'm going to uh, right click this and uh, make it share the material. Here we go. All right, and uh, before I end this, let's see if uh, we can get a little better lighting. I'm going to change this lamp to uh, a sun lamp, just so we can see it better. Yeah, that looks good. All right, that looks great. And uh, before we go, let's render it in the game engine, see how it looks. I think it looks pretty good. A few mistakes. Um, but if you are using um, a third-party game engine, making a video game of your own, uh, using this technique is a great way to see uh, your final result without having to go in export and render and go into other applications. just makes everything a lot quicker. So until next time, I'll see you later.